guys, it's your girl Lola Loves You. In today's topic, we're going to talk about the time when Whitney Houston was fired from the Oscars. Well, in 2000, that was not a good year for Whitney Houston. You know, she was going through a lot of ordeals. And allegedly, this is when um, Whitney Houston was experimenting with a new type of, you know, substance. But anyway, um, she was supposed to do the... Um, 2000 Oscars. Um, she already did it a year before 99 with Mariah Curry. So, you know, they want her to, to perform. Who wouldn't want Whitney Houston to perform? But doing, like I said, during this time in her life, a lot of troubles was coming along. So she went to the rehearsal, but the night before we found out from her ch um, childhood, you could say that was like really her cousin, but Aunt Bay's daughter, Lori, said it in doing a read a documentary that Bobby Brown kept Whitney Houston up the entire night, feuding with her, arguing with her, just just really the entire night, just really kind of sabotaging her. I don't know if he did it purposefully, but just being a bad person at the time. So him and Whitney um, arrived at the rehearsal we, and they, you know, they try to keep it cute, but said that she you know she declined because she you know she had a sore throat but you know that's that's the number one when he's an excuse so excuse for bad behavior so what happened was it was an inside source saying no that's not what happened allegedly allegedly they came there bobby brown under the influence with a coat over his head on the front row while she's doing her rehearsal she is not on cue she's singing the wrong song that she's not even supposed to be singing and she's missing her cues and things like that at that time i remember golf brooks being there and he tried to i remember him doing an interview trying to cover it up saying she was sick at the time and that was good you know they everybody loved when you didn't want her to be in a bad light i know dion was there and i know that was very painful for dion Musical genius Burt Backrack was the, I guess he was in charge of the composing the music for the show that night. And um, Whitney was just was out of it. So he told her, just leave. I, you know, he fired her allegedly. So he told her, just leave. And she left. But the most embarrassing moment, because this man is a family friend. He knew Whitney since Whitney was a young teenager. He worked with Dion and throughout Dion's career wrote uh, tons of hit songs for Dion Warwick. So he knew them. He played the piano when Whitney and Dion were singing That's What Friends Are For at the Arista Anniversary Gathering, the ceremony. That's him playing the piano for them too. And it's just like, and I knew that had to be heartbreaking for him, but I'm glad he did it in my opinion because that was showing Whitney tough love. And you could tell it kind of bothered her because during the Diane Sawyer interview, you could tell she was, um, she didn't really want to talk about it, but she did tell the truth. She said, she said she did get fired. And then she just was like, well, that, that's the past. You know how she just like, she just, she just skimmed over it. And he really gave her tough love and she needed it at that moment. Did it work? Mm, no, not really, because she, she even spiraled even more out of control. But that is the behind the stories with what happened at rehearsal. She just wasn't there in, in the right mind space, and they had to let her go. Um, she was replaced with um, country singer Faith Hill. I remember seeing that. That that made the headlines. I remember seeing this. This made the headlines. This was all in the papers and magazines. But, y'all, yeah, so for, to my honey bunny that... um. Um, DM'd me in, in, on Instagram and asked me to, to go in details. This way, what really happened. It's your girl, Lola Loves You. I'll be back with many more videos and stories. I love my honey bunnies. Bye.